Chromecast. Also, 57 seconds of logos, half of which is DreamWorks whipping out its entire animated library for everyone and their mother to see. You can try to hide it behind a logo transition, but I see your Bruce Almighty moon and I sit it. We start out with some rams just minding their own business, but I do not believe this is how you mine things, unless all the miners beneath you have waived their rights to not being crushed to death by falling debris, or the mine happens to be in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Hey, hey. These creatures greet each other by making a bleeding noise that sounds like hey, and therefore anthropomorphic hilarity is created. Bright eyes burning like fire. Bright eyes. How'd you blow out those flames? That's right. It is I, Tai Lung. It can't be. I'm with you, random ram of outrage. That sounds completely impossible and absolutely not like something that literally happened in the previous movie. I have returned to take what is mine, which is everything that is yours. But my first course of action will be to destroy and set fire to your means of gathering resources so that you have even less for me to steal. If I know our son, He's probably just kicking back and catching some rays. Somebody was so desperate to include this sun ray manta ray pun that they forgot the dragon warrior is probably not relaxing on a beach. He's much more likely to be stealing a job from a more qualified tiger or eating a dumpling. Kung Fu! Announcing your attacks. You don't hear me sit behind my desk and suddenly shout, sitting movies. This manta ray that has laid waste to most of the dock could easily break the stick and drag Poe under, resigning him to slow death beneath the waves. But instead, it chooses to fight Poe in the air for some reason. <laughs> These kids survived this. I'm late, I'm late, Ooh, I'm late. The hero character is worried about being late for a trivial event, when the reason for their lateness is the very not trivial saving of lives. I'll sign whatever you want. Poe. Master Shifu! Character blinded by own fame, blindly signs mentor without realizing cliche. Will the Furious Five be here too? Unfortunately, no, they're off on super cool kung fu missions. Actually, the fate of the Furious was that this nostalgia fest couldn't afford to bring back the people who were actually nostalgic for. Apparently, milking a panda is becoming quite an expensive undertaking. Also, rumor has it that Jackie Chan still picked up a healthy payday for this movie since he's technically in it just as much as the previous three. Thinking that these quick stop motion summaries are an acceptable substitute for just showing us super cool kung fu missions. And once again, destiny calls for you to take the next step on your journey. What are you talking about? I've already taken all the steps. After 16 years, three movies, a holiday special, and three, yes, three TV shows, you would certainly f***ing hope so, wouldn't you? It is time for you to choose your successor. A successor to be the next Dragon Warrior. Okay, okay, hold the bamboo, because I'm about to be oozled. In the first movie, that mellow tortoise Ugwe said he was looking for the Dragon Warrior for like 500 years, and was waiting for some stereotypically vague prophecy to be fulfilled. So what gives Shifu the right to suddenly say, I'm bored of you now, let's find a new Dragon Warrior. Being the next Ugwe is not my destiny, which I have accepted and am at peace with, really. It's fine. You don't sound fine. You don't sound fine. So this find a new dragon warrior bullshit is all because Shifu is feeling butthurt about not getting the staff? I mean, if that's the case, I have to wonder why they didn't just Jim Phelps this bitch and make him the main villain. I'm pretty sure John Voight is available. Who you are will always be a part of what you become. And what you will become was always part of who you are. But more succinctly, you always are who are to become part of what will. Where's the skadoosh? You know what I mean? The shashaburi! I'm pretty sure Jack Black has asked this question on the set of every film he's ever worked on and everyone just keeps responding with, you know what? He's got a good point. You'll start interviewing candidates first thing tomorrow morning. Interviewing candidates? Last time it was decided by a tournament, which was ultimately ignored in favor of Ugwe choosing Poe seemingly by mistake. I mean, that was some bullshit that I'm pretty sure we sinned, but at least be consistent with your bullshit so I don't have to craft new sins. Awesome! Sure is. And if the Valley of Peace is ever under siege by an avalanche of fruit salad, this guy is 100% the first person you should call. Now we get a mulch man, a gravel guy, and this skadoosh. And it's all a waste of runtime because Poe ultimately decides to finger himself. Nothing about them says dragon or warrior. Says the current dragon warrior who is a panda with no previous fighting experience. This is not working at all. The movie and I seem to share an opinion about its existence. Wait, if I'm Poe's inner voice, then who are you? Uh, I'm Poe's inner inner voice? If that were true, then you should have popped up next to the head of Poe's inner voice, not next to Poe's head. The movie doesn't know how to org chart its inner voices properly. You can't hide from justice forever! D.B. Cooper has entered the chat, strapped on a parachute, and exited the back of the chat at an altitude of 10,000 feet. Oh no! 
He's got a walking stick. What are you gonna do, stroll me to death? Between this, the bad guys, If, Migration, The Little Mermaid, Ryan the Last Dragon, and like a billion other animated movies, I'm almost positive that Aquafina is setting up her own shared universe populated solely by characters voiced by her. I'm not mad. You get your dollar bills, quiz lady. I just wish we didn't have to give DreamWorks a cut, too. I'm just gonna say it. Nothing about you says dragon or warrior. Jen would be excellent at making points I've already made. The oil stays in these torches as an affront to centrifugal force. How dare you desecrate the Hall of Heroes! <laughs> said the panda that desecrated the shit balls out of it with some Mario Kart shenanigans with his father in the last movie. That's a mystery for you to solve during your two year stay at the Valley of Peace prison. Two years? For a B&E and attempting to steal some artifacts? And without a fucking trial? God damn, when did this become the People's Republic of Peace? Well, you know what they say. Every step leaves a footprint, no matter how small. Drawing the story out with cryptic clues instead of just saying you know who did this and where to find them. Wait, she? Mine. Poe dismisses this act of wizardry far too easily instead of burning Jen at the stake for witchcraft. The Empress of Disguise, capable of taking any form, mimicking any shape. Lamp's position. So she's shape-shifting into Tai Long. Movie makes the interesting choice to pivot out of the Wrath of Khan and into Picard season three. Fine. You lead me to the chameleon, and I'll see what I can do about reducing your sentence. So, really doing the cop and criminal team up to find a bigger, badder criminal thing, huh? That's the job for the Furious Five. Well, they're not here! You already tore the band-aid off and told us they wouldn't be in the movie. Why reopen the wound? Mind your own business, squirrel. Master Shifu is not a squirrel. I'm a red panda. He is not. I mean, he is, but come on. He really is. So does this really unlock the door to the spirit realm? It doesn't work like that. It has to be given in order to gain its powers. Jen asked what the staff does. She did not ask how it was activated. If you say her name three times, she'll take you away in the night. Getting your chameleons confused with your candy men. Or Beetlejuices. How bad can one evil sorceress be? Evil being in the name should be a pretty good indicator. But let's fade to a scene already in progress and see if this sheds light on the subject. We're the heads of Juniper City's most prominent crime families. Is a thing that doesn't need to be said to the other heads of Juniper City's most prominent crime families. I'm the chameleon. I wonder how often her hench dragons rehearse this reveal to nail the lift right on cue. Must be at least three or four times a week. You know, to stay sharp. Then you, my friend, can begin to fathom oh. just how far I can push. I'd say you can push him just about as far as a PG movie will let you push him, which is down these steps in a comical fashion that results in no real lasting health consequences. I'll expect your tributes by dawn. That doesn't seem like a sufficient amount of time for each of them to write songs about the greatest songs in the world that just so happen to also be the greatest songs in the world. Do you want the cookie or not? Wait, why does that seem so familiar? <laughs> damn it, DreamWorks. You keep fantastic Mr. Fox's quirks out of your damn mouth. <laughs> Excitement? Now, let's go find our son. Nothing says pad the runtime with characters we don't know what to do with, like a B-plot about two dads who go on a quest to rescue their son who is more capable of looking after himself than they are. The Happy Bunny Tavern. Well, that sounds inviting. <laughs> Dramatically timed juxtapositional bunny defenestrations. Start faster! Yep, this kid's movie has a bunny being forced to cook itself to death. And yes, I know similar things have happened to Bugs and Daffy, but they always seem to be in on the joke and not f***ing terrified for their mortal souls. Hey, what you guys playing? Ah, uh, Johnny. Well, they ain't playing f*** all now that you jumped on the table and jostled the tiles out of place. Whoa, one of everything is my go-to order. But how did you pay for this? But wait, when you came in, he said, I'll find us a ride. Maybe you can get us some food. So how was Poe expecting her to pay for the food if he had all the money? I'm proud of you. I have questions. I'm assuming Jen cheated by playing whatever Mahjong tiles she wanted, but where did the extra tiles come from? Does she always have Mahjong tiles stuffed in her tail just in case? We've seen her do some crazy acrobatics, so if that's the case, why is it only this hit that has knocked them all loose? Destroy them! A crucial choice in any action film is the why behind the violence. You can have compelling reasons for conflict that support the overall story, or you can just throw in contrived bar brawls that are the result of poor impulse control. One of these types gets a sin. Guess which one? Also, it's always funnier when they choose to animate this attack one at a time nonsense. Who designed the tavern on a cliff? Movie continues to create stupid things so it can point out stupid things before I have a chance to. Also, the question I'd actually be asking is who designed the squirrel tail to be able to take the weight of a falling 300 pound panda? I'm too young! 
How was that for acting brave? These two characters are too nervous all the time to now downplay Lee's fall as if he wasn't seriously in danger of falling off the cliff. Also, while my panda dropping days are long behind me, this scream lasts for about 1.5 seconds. And from a resting start, that means that Lee should have fallen somewhere between 40 and 50 feet, which this is not. And f you, movie, for making me math. It's gonna be great to be back home again. Does your family live there too? They would, if I had a family. You don't know that. Let's just say they wouldn't have moved to Toledo. It wasn't easy being a little fox in a big city. Oliver, skip. The animator made sure that Jen had to live off apples from a young age to explain why she grew into such an asshole. One day a local took me in. And despite me being eternally grateful, I continued to refer to them as a local for the next several decades so that I wouldn't ruin the reveal in this movie. Now that I'm supposed to become spiritual leader, I have to find a worthy successor to take over as the dragon warrior. I'd like to say it's convenient that the universe gifted Poe with a badass street smart fox just as he was looking for a new dragon warrior, but the universe also decided to get rid of five perfectly good options in Tigress, Mantis, Monkey, Crane, and Viper. So I guess I'm really asking why the universe decided to work harder and not smarter. I can't even come up with one of those cool sounding proverbs. Life's greatest enemy is, uh, I don't know, stairs? At something like 1 million injuries and 12,000 fatalities a year in the US alone, Poe is not as wrong as the movie wants us to think he is. Taking the Assassin's Creed route up from the dock wasn't necessary at all. They're not in a cool chase, expanding their maps, or trying to kill a Pope. I've never seen so much traffic before. Small town dragon warriors, first time in the big city cliche. I'll show you where this villainous sorceress lurks as she dominates the city. Is she lurking in that villainous tower dominating the city? All right, movie, if you're gonna write the sins, I guess I'll just say skadoosh. I feel like there are more efficient ways to distribute these wanted posters. The law has better things to do than look for me. Hey, Fox, we've been looking for you. You can't have every bit of character dialogue followed by an immediate equal and opposite reaction without at least giving Sir Isaac Newton a story by credit. Perhaps you know me better as... The Kung Fu Panda! Holy sh**, they finally did it. It's taken 16 years and four movies, but they finally earned their rolls skadooshits. We gotta get out of here before they call for backup. That's a lot of bull. No f***ing kidding. How the f*** did all these cops get here so quickly? Poe and Jen escaped the paddy wagon seemingly without the driver even realizing, jumped off a bridge to some random part of town, and then somehow all these cops have been immediately mobilized and know exactly where they are. Were the cops in charge of animating this scene? Also, we're about to see the good name of Ozzy's crazy train taken in vain while small business owners feel the pain instead of the fox and panda taking the blame. No one will be seated while Kung Fu Panda 4 takes time out to retcon idioms. We don't have time for a drum solo! Secret entrances that require you to make a shit ton of noise for an extended amount of time to secretly reveal them. It isn't much farther now. You always say that and it's always so much farther. Kids. I always knew someday you'll find your way home back to the den. Aw oh, man, they dragged the everything everywhere all at once version of Sid from Ice Age into this mess. E who resorts to violence now will only find more violence later. So what you're saying is, if we don't hurt Jen a little now, we can hurt her a lot later. Ugh. <sighs> These assholes come up with a literal interpretation of this Poe verb that suggests some kind of interest accrues when you put your violence in the bank. But it fails at being literal, is exhausting, and is only funny to kids because they're dumb. Thank you. Don't drink that. I hope these kids get a spin-off with the penguins of Madagascar and that f***ing squirrel from Ice Age and they all just pour acid on each other. Salutations! How much did this tavern set cost them to build that they felt the need to feature it in two different scenes? You have no idea what I'm capable of. It's suggested that Lee found this getup outside, and that is true for the cape, but this bowl on his head was not seen among the walks that gave him the idea in the first place. The back door seems a little more practical. The perfectly logical and altruistic argument that ultimately carried very little weight with my college girlfriend somehow makes its way into the movie. I gotta say, Jen, you really are a fox of your word. God damn, they couldn't be advertising Jen's imminent betrayal more if they gave her a bad Texan accent and called her Bill Clay. It's supposed to remind me that every pit holds the promise of a mighty tree. Every pit except this one because it won't grow into anything hanging out in your pocket. Hey, look! Poe was here. I guess pandas were also endangered in ancient China. Sure, it sucks, but at least you know when you're out looking for a panda and you find a piece of panda fur on the ground and you are surely hot on the trail of the one specific panda you are looking for. Why would you put a manhole cover down like this? And if you were a manhole cover, why would you roll away instead of falling over? And why did they make this a thing at all if loud noises and dumbassery aren't enough to disturb Komodo Dragon nap time? <laughs> I present to you the studio that brought us the Prince of Egypt. Also, stopping a sneeze like this would not cause a fart. You just see stars, get a terrible headache, and sh** your pants. 
What's the point of making the discs in this murder tube have holes big enough for the intruders to get out? Feel free to steal my stuff or kill me in my sleep, but only if you can complete this physical challenge. Jen? Where are you taking my staff? I think you mean my staff. So this was Jen's plan all along. Drag Poe to the chameleon's hideout and then somehow trick him into handing over the staff. I guess it's not a terrible plan, but considering the chameleon has managed to dominate all of the crime families in the region and can basically turn into anything she wants, I don't know why she went through all this trouble instead of just bullying it out of Poe by threatening to turn into a killer whale and sitting on his dad's. Would have made for an incredible visual, too. I wanted to be a master of kung fu. I'm beginning to think kung fu is the problem and not the solution in these movies. I was turned away from every training hall I went to. It's kind of wild that the villain turns to villainy because of rejection origin story is not just a cliche in general, but it's also a cliche just in these goddamn movies. I think this is the third time this has happened. They would say I was too small, too lowly. Well, then how the f*** did Mantis get a job? Kung Fu may be performed by the body, but its secrets are housed in the spirit. And that makes it downloadable? You're gonna steal Tai Lung's Kung Fu. His and those of every master villain that came before me. Wouldn't it have been an even better idea to steal the Kung Fu from the good guys too? You know, the ones that defeated the villains and sent them to the spirit realm in the first place? You'd need at least 10 dragon warriors to get through them. Then I won't go through them. I'll go under them. Oh, Poe, that's so dumb. Why would the chameleon go through this convoluted plan just to leave such an easy escape route? Well, that's frustrating for all sorts of reasons. F***ing what? Third rule of the streets. Third rule? Putting aside the bad guy has a numbered set of rules cliche, how have you only taught her the first two rules after all this time? The fact that Poe saving himself by grabbing onto this branch happens entirely off screen would be suspicious enough in live action, but it's even worse in this case because it meant someone deemed it impossible to believably animate. Son! Oh wow, rare and elusive Deus Ex Quackina. It's okay, we've got you, Poe. We've got you. Yeah, but only thanks to the animators. Where the f was your ass a second ago? How did you get down here? And how the f are they all planning to get back up? When the blood moon rises to its highest point in the night sky, I will open the door to the spirit realm. Spooky sh is possible when the moon is doing spooky sh cliche. Am I making too many cliche sins? Yes, probably. But then maybe the movie should stop letting other movies write its movie. Does the blood moon always rise as slowly? It's just for dramatic effect anyway. I think I'm just going to open the spirit realm now. Sorry, Kung Fu Panda 4, but you have shown zero interest in doing any kind of meta genre commentary. So I'm not buying that this villain was deliberately delaying their master plan just for dramatic effect. I seem to remember it rising faster. Listen, the Blood Moon isn't as young as it used to be. These things may take a little more time now. When it gets there, I guarantee it still has enough mass to generate a tidal force. Poe might be an idiot, but he'd never willingly hand over Uguay's staff to the likes of you. But you just asked who she was. So how do you know enough about her to claim she isn't worthy? I mean, just on a surface level, she seems to have her shit together more than that tripped out tortoise. I don't share my skills with anyone. It wasn't a request. It looked like Tai Lung was headed back into the spirit realm, which, based on the last few movies, is where people go to die and get shelved between cash grabs or become force ghosts or whatever. So why is Tai Lung bothering to fight? What if he just lets these lizard guards kill him? Wouldn't that send him back to the spirit realm? Can he even be killed? Why is Glory Halo if Glory Halo means nothing? What have you done to me? All of your kung fu is now mine. The chameleon can just use her tongue to suck the powers out of Tai Long? Okay, cool. But why didn't she do this to Poe? Maybe his kung fu isn't as good as Tai Long's, but would it at least rob Poe of his powers and make him unable to escape that cage, right? Please, I made a mistake. And we're so glad you realized it for no other reason than it's time to kick the third act into gear so we can wrap this thing up. I know you think it might be too late for a bunch of cheats, thieves, and cutthroats like us to change our ways. I don't think they're worried about it being too late. I think it's more likely they're quite happy with this life and haven't given a single thought to what your biased construct of doing the right thing might be. I, I mean, we will. But how? Just leave that to me. Or, you know, you could just tell them your plan. I'm gonna get that staff back, restore your kung fu, and return you all back to the spirit realm. Even though real death may not exist in this universe, this is still a threat to kill them all again.
So when Lee said, just leave that to me earlier, what he actually meant was leave that to the orphans we've just recruited so I can sit on my ass and attempt to be quippy with a cocktail. Yeah, these adorable bunnies who are actually obsessed with murder were funny when Monty Python did it, but the intervening 50 years have repeated the idea so much that I'm finally seeing Elmer Thud's point of view. Can't you even die right? I think the better question is, why can't you even kill right? Take it. I already have everything I need from it anyway. Then destroy it! Why would you arm your enemy? Even if your strength brings you an abundance of confidence, why make life harder for yourself? Destroy it! Make a tasteful lamp out of it, but don't give it back! Alike in so many ways. If only I had a dumpling for every time a villain told me how much we had in common. You know your franchise is on the ropes when even your main character is begging for some originality. Yeah, I know. But how did you know? I saw it in a vision. So the vision let him know that there was a problem, but didn't give him any information about how to solve the problem. Seems like a pretty useless vision. Also, this vision could have let him know that Jen was going to double cross him, but it just doesn't. Because I'm the dragon warrior, for now at least. But I've realized that it's probably time I made a change. Why? Why have you suddenly realized that? I can't think of a single damn thing that's happened in the last few days that would inspire him to not be the Dragon Warrior anymore. Is it just that he's as fed up with these movies as we are? Then maybe we could both let go of who we were and become something better than we already are. Great message all, but it's hard to learn that lesson from a franchise that is incapable of learning its own lesson and will forever and always be about settling things with Kung Fu. Master Elephant's trunk twist! Master Boar's tusks of terror! Master Wolf's fangs of fury! Maybe if you stop verbally masturbating over all this cool Kung Fu, you might be able to beat off the cool Kung Fu. General Kai! Lord Shen! Chameleon is turning into an amalgamation of all the villains, but screw you because Shen was a peacock motherfucker, not a bald eagle, or whatever these giant ass non peacock wings come from. Also, the representation of what a biblically accurate angel would look like somehow makes its way into the movie. Chameleon decides her new kung fu powers would be best used by doing this giant monster bit instead of doing, you know, kung fu. You'd think this would be game over for Jen, but instead, the chameleon just decides to fly around with her for a bit until Poe forces her to drop Jen from a height that we're supposed to think is scary, but actually does nothing. I am invested. Jen! As the story of this cameo goes, Tom Cruise showed up the day they were filming and they let him fill in for Poe. Apparently, he did all his own stunts, and it was weird because no one even called him or asked him to come. The movie attempts to save itself with some technical wizardry by stealing the body lock vertical to horizontal camera action y pivoty point thingy that was first used to make Tom Hardy look cool and upgrade. I know this because I know cinema sh I'm gonna kick my butt. Oh, I see. The real battle is and has always been against yourself. Or just a person in a panda suit cosplaying as you? How did they know it was me in my panda suit? Damn. Life is hard. Also, you get sent to a special level of sin hell when your movie ends up in a same versus same fight when one of your sames has been specifically designed with the ability to be anything. The fate of the world hangs in the balance and you're here giving me life advice from a tortoise. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. I don't see how the species of animal giving the advice should matter in this situation. And the fact that you brought it up makes me a little uncomfortable with you being the next dragon warrior. You aren't completely useless after all. Poe has finally earned respect of all the villains throughout history, which he shouldn't really give a shit about, right? And isn't this the perfect opportunity for them to keep villaining? But instead, they'll all happily return to the spirit realm so they can carry on not existing or whatever the fuck it is they do over there. This looks nothing like the movement the chameleon did to open the door to the spirit realm earlier. Like, it's not even close. Maybe I'll open one of those acupuncture places that are all the rage. Out of all the candidates you choose to train as your worthy successor, you chose the fox? Yep, it's utter bullshit and a big old f you to all the Furtastic Five, especially Tigress. I don't see why Tigress should be punished for Aquafina being an easier get than Angelina Jolie in 2024. Money can't buy happiness, but it sure can buy a lot of dumplings. He who does not know how to end a movie should simply not end the movie and drag out a not funny gag instead. Are you ready to begin your training? Are you? Yes. And I brought a little help. Don't worry that they refuse to say a f***ing word to you. They're very weird like that. Also, the best thing to come out of this movie and possibly this franchise is this tenacious D cover of Hit Me Baby One More Time. And while I'm tempted to give it a sin removal, this movie has put me in such a bad mood that I will instead sin the one more time element for the eventual summoning of Kung Fu Panda 5. You want the panda? You're getting the panda. I'm late. I'm late. For a very important date. I am the dragon warrior. A sweet, cuddly, vicious little panda. I wish to be 
the most powerful sorcerer in the world! Are we gonna stop for lunch soon? What about elevensies? Luncheon, afternoon tea. You wanna split my almond cookie? Baby, please, I am not from Havana. Everyone knows life's greatest enemy is time. They say time is the fire in which we burn. It began with the forging of the great rings. Stir later, roll <laughs> higher, and the word is skadoosh. Skadoosh isn't a word. Whole word's made up. Everyone loves a slinky. You gotta get a slinky, 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 go, slinky, go. Who are you and what are you doing with that stuff? How about I shove it up your ass? Please, I made a mistake. Dumb shit. Suffice it to say, just don't wash out.